Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, let's just go quickly into what, what you know, I've been trying to get something to you. Praise God. And, and, and let's trust the Lord that he will help us today. Now, I said, Jesus, God planned for Jesus to come from the sixth day of creation. Jesus didn't come because Adam has sinned. Jesus came because Adam was not made in the image and likeness of God. But God have started the process in, in, in the formation of man. Now that's what I want you to see. So Adam, and Adam was made a living soul. That's what God called him. Now, God is a spirit, remember. And if God is a spirit... He can't say, I want to make man in my image and likeness and makes man a living soul. If he's going to make man in his image and his likeness, then it means man too is supposed to be a spirit like him. Am I right? Sure. But Adam was not a spirit. He wasn't. He was just a living soul. But guess what? Genesis chapter 2 and verse Oh, from verse 8. And the Lord God planted a garden, east, a planted a garden eastward of, in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. So God put the man in the garden of Eden. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden. I want to follow that. And the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For, let's say from verse 15. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eat thereof thou shalt surely die. Now, I want you to understand something here also. Here you find also the limitation of words to explain what God said. Now, we, we think God said, don't eat of that tree. Okay. The day you eat of it, you will surely die. That's not what God really said. Say, how, how do you know this? That's what the Holy Spirit told me. What did God say? Look at what he said. Look at, look at the scripture. Verse 16. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, of every tree of the garden... Take note of these words. Thou mayest freely eat. Take note of that word. Freely eat. Not else. You can eat it anyhow. You can eat it as you like. It's under your the PV. It's under your discretion. Eat it as you like. But then he says, But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. Now, that's not what God said. God actually said, You will not freely eat of that tree. Now, what's the difference? When we say you should not eat it, it means it's not for eating. But the Bible just told us here where we read in verse 9 that out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. And the tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So it means this tree of life and the tree of knowledge and good of good of came out from the ground, number one. Number two, they carry in them fruits that are good for food. They are good to, for the sight and good for food. Are, are you following me? So why would God create a tree that is good for food, put it in the garden and says, don't eat of that tree? You get what I'm saying? No, no, that's not what God said. The translators put it this way. What did God really say? He said, every other tree, you freely eat of it, but this one, you will not freely eat of it. In other words, he was supposed to only eat of those trees, the tree of life and the tree of knowledge and good and evil, when God commands that he should eat it. Just like God gave command concerning tithes. When you, when you study the book of Deuteronomy and the book of Numbers, God told them that, look, there are certain tithes that... You every other thing that you have, you can eat, you know, in your house. But the time you cannot eat it in your house, you have to take it out of your house to a place that the Lord will put His name, and then sit down there in your family and eat it. Now, someone else read and say, "Don't even eat it at all." You see, now because of understanding. So God didn't say, "Don't even eat it at all." God says there is a different way you eat of this one. So it's the same thing God is saying here. Now. 
Why am I sharing this with you? When you go to the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 2, Jesus was speaking in verse 7, Revelation 2, 7. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said to the churches. To him that overcometh, will I, who's speaking, Jesus, will I give to it of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise or garden of God. Did you see that? I thought, I thought God said, don't eat of it. Now Jesus is saying, when you overcome, I will give you that tree. Now guess what? After Adam and Eve sinned, God blocked the way you know, to that garden. Now no one knows what that, that tree looks like, the tree of life. No one knows what it looks like. And I will found, find Jesus here saying, I will give you of that tree to eat. Uh-huh. And that should tell you something. Was the tree there waiting for someone to come and administer that fruit to Adam and Eve? Now you're getting the idea. Praise God. I'll continue from here tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.